Geology is the science that deals with the study of the Earth. However, Spaceport has expanded it to include the surfaces of all terrestrial planets. Minerals are the constituents of rock. They are natural crystalline solids that have a definite inorganic chemical composition. Rocks are made of minerals. The rock shown here has two different minerals, making it light and dark. There are three main types of rock, igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary. The interior of the Earth has several layers. The solid crust, which forms the surface of the Earth, and this is where we live. The mantle, the liquid outer core that produces the Earth's magnetic field, and the solid, largely iron inner core. According to plate tectonics, the Earth's crust is divided into segments called plates. Now, they are not fixed, but they slowly move around over the mantle. Now, when these plates meet, they interact. And they interact in three main ways, gliding, spreading, and subduction, which is seen as the main driving mechanism of plate tectonics. Also, when they interact, the results are earthquakes and volcanoes. A number of objections have been raised about plate tectonics, stemming from questions about how well the continents actually fit together, questions have been raised about the feasibility of subduction, and questions have been raised about the magnetic strips on the sea floor. These objections have resulted in alternative theories, none of which are taken seriously by the scientific establishment. There are three main principles of stratigraphy. The principle of superposition states that when a stratum forms, the strata underneath it have already completely formed, and that when the lower stratum forms, none of the strata above it existed. The principle of continuity, which states that strata are formed from sediments in a fluid, such that when any stratum forms, it must be bordered on its side by another solid body. Otherwise, the sediment would run around the earth. The principle of original horizontality which states that when a stratum was formed, the upper surface was parallel to the horizon as far as is possible, such that the strata were at one time constrained to be parallel to the horizon. Now, observational and experimental evidence exists that indicates that all three principles are wrong. This is because in flowing water, sediment is laid down horizontally and not vertically, as the principles of stratigraphy assume. The geologic column is a theoretical system of rock layers used for the dating and categorizing of rocks and fossils. It is based on fossils found in the rock called index fossils. The column depicted in charts is an abstraction showing geologic ages, but not the exact pattern found in the earth. This theoretical geologic column is not found complete any place on earth. This is because it was constructed by combining different locations. Now, there are a few places that have all of the geologic ages represented, but none have the complete column. On the other hand, there are some places that have the ages represented, but out of order. But these are commonly explained as overthrust. The biggest problem with the geologic column is that it cannot be tested. This is because it is used to classify fossils without other factors like depth that could be used to test it. Uniformitarianism is the theory in geology that the processes occurring on Earth today are the same processes that occurred in the past and will continue to occur in the future. It was developed by James Hudson in 1785 as a direct attack against Noah's Flood and the Bible. Uniformitarianism holds that the present is the key to the past, as stated by Hutton himself. Hudson saw no vestige of a beginning and no prospect of an end to the world. Furthermore, uniformitarianism postulates that large-scale changes occur slowly over long periods of time. Catastrophism is the theory in geology that, in the past, there have been sudden, short-lived, violent events. It postulates that large-scale changes occur in short periods of time, usually by violent events. The version proposed by George Coover in the 1800s had several catastrophes and was not related to Noah's Flood and the Bible. Standard modern geology is basically uniformitarian, but it recognizes that catastrophes have occurred. Nonetheless, uniformitarianism still remains the dominant paradigm with its slow, gradual processes. It is the core of the evolutionary interpretation of the fossil record. It holds that all things continue as they were from the beginning of the world in fulfillment of 2 Peter 3, 3-6. Three flood geology gets its basic concept from the Bible. It has a short creation period followed by a one-year global flood that was a judgment from God. The flood was a major geological catastrophe and a tremendous upheaval. It was responsible for laying down most of the sedimentary layers and fossils.
Radiometric dating is the method of dating an object by way of the decay of radioactive isotopes. It requires making assumptions about the original amounts of both parent and daughter isotopes. It also requires making assumptions about the amount of contamination the sample has experienced. It also requires assuming that the decay rate has been constant. This is a major assumption of all radiometric dating methods. It has been long thought that this was a sound assumption, but recent data has shown that it may not be true. Helium diffusion rates in zircon crystals have provided evidence for substantial accelerated decay rates in the past. Furthermore, studies have shown that the sun influences decay rates. In conclusion, geology basically involves studying rocks. However, it goes beyond that into studying how the Earth works, and different theories of geology often produce different results from the same data. And there are reasons to question some conclusions of standard geology, opening up the door to other theories.